Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for tuning in and possibly joining the Pretty Plug community. Okay, before we get started with the video, those that have been watching me for a while might have noticed ads in my last video that I posted. So it's safe to say that I'm monetized. I would like to give a huge thanks to everyone that has been supporting my channel by subscribing, commenting, sharing my videos, and even clicking on my affiliate links. Nothing goes unnoticed. So to show my appreciation, I will be doing a big giveaway in the upcoming weeks. Also, I will be doing a Q&A and my journey to becoming monetized. So stay tuned. Once again, thank you. Now let's get into the video. I have been waiting on this package for the last few days. I mean, waiting patiently, and it is finally here. I have been wanting this heat press for so long, but I promised myself that if I get monetized, it was going to be my gift to myself for working so hard. Let me tell y'all, make sure you reward yourself for reaching goals, because we can be so hard on ourselves at times, so save room to be your biggest supporter. Y'all, I'm so happy. It's a shame. <laughs> but anyway, I purchased this HTV Raw heat press from Amazon, and it came in three days. I was going to purchase it from the site, but they wanted shipping fees, and I wasn't sure if the site was real or not. It looked a bit janky, so I just stuck with what I knew. Okay, I got it open. And look at me just trying to lift it, and Lord knows that thing was so heavy. Okay, so on top is the instructions, and it came with a large Teflon sheet. Okay, so I had to use my grill power to get it up on the table, and I should have never did that. So if you can avoid lifting this thing, do it, <laughs> because it's pretty heavy. And y'all, it's so funny because really the whole time I was thinking like, how am I going to get this thing out of here? <laughs> so, okay, I turned it to the side and had to slide it out. Yeah, I had to tussle for a minute, but I got it out. Yeah, when I say this heat press looks so much better in person, it's so nice and sleek and compact. Yes, I was very happy. I don't think I've ever been this happy about a purchase. Well, my hat press, I was pretty happy, but this is just amazing. So now I'm just going to go ahead and try to plug it up and get it started okay so i got it plugged up and these are the instructions that came with it so right now i'm just gonna play around with it later on i'm gonna come back with a more descriptive video about the heat press i want to just learn it and play with it and see how it goes Okay, I'm skimming through the instructions. This is the mode button. It has four different modes. And this is the custom button and the auto button. The increase and decrease button and the start. And we have the time and temp button. So now I'm going to let it heat up so I can press my first shirt. Oh God, let's see how this goes. So you know I had to come over here to my cousins at Creative Fabrica to get my copyright free design. 
Don't forget to click the link down below in the description to sign up for a free trial and 10 free downloads. And by the way, the shirt that I have on, the design came from Creative Fabrica. Okay, so I kind of found what I wanted. So now I'm going to go ahead and download it to my computer. So now that I'm in Cricut Design Space, I'm going to go ahead and upload the design that I just got from Creative Fabrica. It was a SVG file, so I just needed to click on the file. And I didn't like the little arrow, so I just deleted it. So now I'm going to size the image to 10 in width and 3 in height. So what you're going to see me do next is picking out a t-shirt template so I can see how the design is going to look on the shirt. So now that I have the correct size that I want, I'm going to go ahead and hit make it. But since it was a SVG file, I was supposed to attach all the letters together. So I'm going to go ahead and hit weld and weld all the letters together and then hit make it. So here I'm going to mirror the design because I'm using iron-on vinyl. So here I'm going to click on everyday iron-on. And now I'm just going to prep my mat with the heat transfer vinyl. And now it's time to cut the vinyl. Here I'm just going to use my blade to cut out the vinyl that I just cut with my Cricut machine. Now here I'm just weeding out my letters.
Okay, so I'm done weeding. Now it's time to go ahead and prep the shirt. So now I'm gonna pre-press the shirt to get the moisture out. And I'm also pressing the shirt folded down the middle to get a crease down the center of the shirt so I can line my vinyl up evenly down the middle. So here I'm gonna fold my image in half and line it up with the crease on the shirt. And I'm gonna put the image three fingers down from the neck. Now I'm gonna put the Teflon sheet on top and now it's time to press. Oh God, I'm so happy. And I am so sorry I did not have to rip the backing off of this vinyl like that. Almost screwed the whole thing up. But what I'm going to do is put the Teflon sheet on top of it and press it for about 5 to 10 seconds. Okay, now it's done pressing, and I have a perfect shirt. Thank you so much for watching, and to see more videos on HTV, click the playlist on the screen. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.